Deontay Wilder recently reiterated his eagerness to step into the ring against Anthony Joshua, aiming to deliver the highly anticipated showdown fans have long awaited. Despite ongoing discussions spanning over half a decade, negotiations between the fighters remain absent. The absence of a bout between Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder, both physically prepared and in the same vicinity, begs the question, why hasn't this fight materialized? Eddie Hearn, AJ's promoter, has dropped hints regarding the fight's potential timeline. He suggests that the fight is unlikely to extend beyond January, although he considers February a feasible option. However, finalizing the date hinges on Saudi Arabia's decision. Despite indications pointing towards January, the definitive moment for witnessing the clash between AJ and Deontay Wilder remains uncertain. What were Wilder's remarks regarding a potential fight against AJ, and how did AJ react? Well, we know that fans have fervently desired a showdown between Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua in the boxing ring. Speculation and discussions about these former heavyweight world champions squaring off have been abundant. Recently, the two shared the same stage in London before their respective December fights. As fate would have it, they are slated to appear on the same card in Saudi Arabia for their upcoming bouts. Joshua is set to face Wallen, while Wilder is scheduled to take on former champion Joseph Parker. Should both Joshua and Wilder emerge victorious in their impending fights, there's a chance that they might finally collide in the ring in 2024. Recently, Wilder expressed his desire to square off against AJ, hoping for an eventual fight between them. While primarily addressing his upcoming bout against Joseph Parker during a press conference, Wilder didn't avoid discussing the potential showdown with Anthony Joshua. He conveyed his enthusiasm about being part of an impressive fight card and acknowledged the presence of numerous great fighters, including Joshua, hinting at potential future matchups. Reflecting on his journey in boxing, Wilder emphasized his readiness to step back into the ring and exhibit his skills. He reiterated his objective to reclaim his title and unify the division, underscoring his unwavering determination and focus on his career aspirations. This mindset indirectly indicates his inclination towards a bout with Joshua, considering it a crucial step toward fulfilling his ambitions. When questioned about his thoughts regarding the upcoming fight with Joseph Parker, Wilder praised Parker's character and skills. This display of respect for his imminent opponent showcases Wilder's professionalism and concentration on the immediate challenge. However, it also suggests that he is mindful of the broader perspective, including a possible fight against Joshua. Wilder discussed his knockout power, portraying it as both a blessing and a curse. He elaborated that while having the capability to knock out any opponent is advantageous, it comes with its own set of challenges. It also poses a challenge as it makes other fighters hesitant to step into the ring with him. This statement subtly points to the difficulties he has encountered in arranging bouts with top contenders like Joshua. Wilder emphasized that fans expect knockouts in heavyweight boxing, a reputation he has for delivering just that. His dedication to providing thrilling fights for the audience indirectly indicates his readiness to take on prominent names, including Joshua, to satisfy the fans' desires. In a significant moment, Wilder directly addressed Anthony Joshua, who was seated right beside him at the press conference. He expressed his longing to finally confront Joshua in the ring, stating his appreciation for being in the same room with him. He said, I genuinely wish you all the best, mate, and hopefully we can finally step into the ring soon to give the fans what they've been longing for. This statement serves as a respectful yet clear call-out, highlighting Wilder's readiness and enthusiasm for the fight. It's evident that Wilder is keen to face Joshua, so why haven't these two fighters squared off yet? Carl Frock, in his analysis of the heavyweight boxing scene, pointed out the recent announcements of Anthony Joshua fighting Otto Wallen and Deontay Wilder taking on Joseph Parker. While acknowledging these as respectable matchups, Frock highlighted that individually, these fights might not be considered mega events. However, their simultaneous appearance on the same night generates significant interest and lays the groundwork for a potential Joshua Wilder showdown. Frock highlighted that Anthony Joshua is currently in a phase of mental rebuilding following his losses to Usyk and Ruiz. 
He suggested that despite not being perceived as highly challenging, the fight against Otto Wallen still poses a test for Joshua. Frock believes that Joshua's physical capabilities are unquestionable, but his mental state is crucial for his performance. The question arises, why hasn't the fight between Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder materialized despite both being physically fit, strong, capable, and having undergone training camps, all while being in the same venue? This fight has been a topic of discussion for almost five years. Frock openly discussed the business aspect of boxing, hinting that the delay in the Joshua Wilder fight might be financially motivated. He indicated that promoters could be aiming to maximize profits, particularly from the lucrative Saudi market. Before organizing a high-stakes showdown like Joshua vs. Wilder, a pivotal aspect in Frock's analysis was the perceived risk associated with a direct Joshua Wilder confrontation at this stage. He speculated that a defeat against Wilder could severely harm Joshua's career, potentially even marking the end of it. This risk factor might be influencing the decision to postpone the fight. Frock referred to the Joshua Wallen and Wilder Parker fights as potential warm-up bouts for the larger event. He acknowledged that while these fights hold significance on their own, they could also serve as stepping stones leading to the much-anticipated Joshua Wilder showdown. Frock didn't dismiss the possibility of upsets in these forthcoming fights. He highlighted Otto Wallen's capabilities, indicating that a loss for Joshua against him could derail plans for a future bout with Wilder. Similarly, Wilder must secure a victory against Parker to sustain the potential superfight. Frock also touched upon the age factor concerning the fighters, hinting that time might be running out for the optimal Joshua Wilder matchup. He conveyed a sense of urgency, suggesting that the fight between them should occur sooner rather than later to showcase both fighters at their peak. Deontay Wilder beats Parker, and Anthony Joshua, I would expect, beats Otto Wallen, he mentioned. Regarding Wilder's expressed desire for a fight between them, Anthony Joshua did not provide a direct response. However, indications suggest he's also interested in facing Wilder and fulfilling the fans' desires. Both fighters were seen exchanging fist bumps and shaking hands, a gesture that potentially signifies mutual respect and hints at a potential future clash. It's noteworthy that the decision to have Anthony Joshua and Deontay Wilder battle different opponents on the same night is a shrewd move in boxing promotion. This arrangement strategically builds anticipation, creating a storyline that keeps fans engaged and heightens excitement for a future showdown between Joshua and Wilder. This strategy isn't solely about the sport. It's a calculated maneuver to amplify the spectacle and commercial value of their eventual clash. By arranging these fights on the same night, promoters are essentially providing a sneak peek to the boxing community. A way of saying, here's what you can anticipate. This approach taps into the psychology of anticipation, transforming the eventual Joshua Wilder fight into more than just another boxing match, but the culmination of a long-standing storyline. The build-up resembles a narrative in a blockbuster movie, drawing out tension and excitement to maximize impact. From a financial standpoint, this strategy aims to maximize revenue. Each fight serves to boost the fighter's marketability and the overall financial pool for when they eventually face off. Similar to other entertainment sectors, the boxing industry thrives on major events. A gradual build-up to a Joshua Wilder fight could translate to increased pay-per-view sales, larger audiences, and heightened sponsorship deals, particularly benefiting Anthony Joshua. The upcoming fight against Otto Wallen poses significant risks for Joshua. Wallen, acknowledged for his resilience and skill, isn't an opponent to underestimate. A loss for Joshua wouldn't just hinder his career progress, but could substantially diminish the allure of a future bout with Wilder. Joshua's recent defeats have placed him in a position where he must reaffirm his capabilities, and a loss against Wallen could be a significant setback. AJ aims to secure a victory against Wallen to pave the way for a potential showdown with Wilder. Similarly, Deontay Wilder faces a critical challenge against Joseph Parker. While Wilder is renowned for his potent knockout ability, Parker is an experienced fighter with a strong track record. A loss for Wilder would similarly disrupt plans for a massive fight against Joshua and might prompt a reassessment of his standing in the heavyweight division. 
Both fighters face pivotal tests that could significantly impact the trajectory of their careers and potential future matchups. If both Joshua and Wilder secure victories, it sets the stage for one of the most highly anticipated fights in recent heavyweight history. This matchup wouldn't merely be a sporting spectacle, it would transcend into a cultural moment, attracting attention beyond the traditional boxing audience. The reward for both fighters extends beyond financial gains, encompassing the legacy and prestige associated with being part of such a historic event. Eddie Hearn, AJ's promoter, provided intriguing insights into the potential Joshua vs. Wilder bout. In an interview with Boxing Social, Hearn expressed a strong desire to organize the fight, emphasizing that it remains a top priority. He mentioned ongoing discussions regarding the possibility of organizing two fights between Joshua and Wilder in 2024 in Riyadh, outlining a clear roadmap for this highly anticipated matchup. When asked about the timeline, Eddie commented, It's not going to go past January, though, is it, Eddie? It's up to Saudi Arabia. I think it can. I think it could go to February. I don't think there's an issue with that month, but we've been told January. We've been told the date. Regarding the complexities surrounding broadcasting arrangements, Hearn acknowledged the challenges stemming from different network deals involving the fighters. He assured that all involved parties are collaborating amicably to resolve these issues and indicated that an announcement regarding the matter would be forthcoming soon. So, that's all from today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to leave a like, subscribe, and ring that bell icon so you never miss our upcoming videos. And don't forget to share your thoughts in the comments section. Stay tuned, and we will catch you in the next video.